When Bernie passed away, I found myself stepping into very big shoes. It was actually 18 months after Bernie passed away that I set up the Bernie Banton Foundation together with some friends to fill a gap that I perceived was there where people really needed support and they needed that navigation of the pathway ahead. Bernie did it while he was alive. We would go together and visit people in hospital who had mesothelioma or an asbestos related disease. So it was just really a progression of the work we'd done together. Karen had started the foundation in 2009. Of course, Karen was offering support. She actually contacted Julie. She did come and visit us and become really, you know, one of Julie's best friends, if you like. I had the privilege of meeting Julie, his late partner. She was a beautiful lady. He and Julie resurrected a similar organisation down in Victoria. By the time Julie died, I was out of everything. I'd stopped my involvement with the Asbestos Disease Society of Victoria. So I joined Karen with the foundation. It was just a progression of him then moving into the role of support coordinator with the Bernie Banton Foundation. I just admire Rod so much. He is so gifted in being able to put people's minds at ease and it just touches my heart every time I hear him support someone, whether it be by phone or in person. One thing led to another, I guess, and, and it was fairly natural uh, as far as that went. That's basically how we got together. The combination of, of Rod and I coming together as a couple and working together to support people is quite unique really because of our joint experience that we had. It was a union of love formed out of tragedy. I believe it is a, a purpose and a, and a real calling to give back to others and to try and make their burden a little lighter, if you like, 